So we've went to the app store and we've downloaded the Lorex Pro app. It may look a little different if you are on Android. We're gonna open the app. And now we're gonna add our system. So the upper right hand corner, you have a plus sign so that we can add. And here you will have a few different options. You are gonna use this top selection, device ID or scan. Now, if you are in front of your NVR, you can scan the QR code, but we're gonna manually enter our device ID. We'll click next. Here's where you will name your device. The device name is up to you. You can put whatever you want to. I'm gonna just put test. And of course, your password. Click done and save. So now we have our cameras loaded. If you see where there's a four, Below the camera icons, you can change between four, nine, 16, however many cameras that you are using there. One other thing that you'll wanna do, if we go back now, we'll go to our device settings. So the three dots next to the play icon, we're gonna click on that. In our device settings, we're gonna change our stream settings. Now the default is probably gonna be like this, sub, sub, and so, for live viewing, the sub is the lower resolution. Every camera is streaming simultaneously in 4K or in a lower resolution. That's so that you can see your cameras quicker. So a lot of people like to leave live in sub because you can change it on the screen itself. And playback though should really always be main. The default is sub, but I wanna change that to main. If you're taking the time to go back and look at some footage, you're gonna to wanna to look at that in 4K. So let's save that. Back on the home screen, there are two different views. You have this view that has the thumbnails and we get this by default. And if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you can click on those four squares and that'll change that uh, to where it's not a thumbnail. You just go and click on the play button next to, to your device name and you will be able to go to all of your cameras. I actually prefer it this way. And the reason is because if you have the view to where it's the icons and you click on one icon, you're actually only opening up that one camera. You can see if I swipe to the right, there are no other cameras here. So um, I don't do that. If you do wanna have it in thumbnail, that's fine, but don't click on the actual icons, click on the play icon and that'll load all your cameras at once. So now you've added your security cameras to the Lorex Pro app. Please look at some of our other videos about how to do playback and other features within the Lorex Pro app.